Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Update Error Code 0x8007065E that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer that reads that there are problems installing some updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help. And then again, it'll read error code 0x8007065E. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match, you'll come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update troubleshooter and the corresponding run button. And then hopefully that should have been able to resolve the issue. I would suggest closing out of here and then opening up the search menu and typing in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of the video. Go ahead and copy the first one. It's a DISM scan. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin that scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient.
And once that scan has concluded, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video. This is a system file checker utility scan. Okay, so you can see Windows Resource Protection did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So once this is done, go ahead and close out of here, and you will need to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.